because uh, uh, because when I went for the yoga class there I after the session is over they said like uh, a nice session is going on regarding enzymes just go and attend this session. So without knowing anything, I just went and attended the session. It was a full session taken by our Srikantji. And after finishing the session, I just came back. Two, three days, I just kept quiet. I didn't do anything. Then suddenly, I when I picked my kid from the school, you know, like uh, there was a fruit shop and just entered inside the fruit shop, had a juice and collected the fruit pills and started doing enzymes. My journey of bioenzymes just started like this. And it was like a hobby. Uh, like once I made, you know, I had some issues. Like after that, it became a hobby of making bioenzymes in my house. Uh, my first batch was with 10 liters and pills placed in that. And then slowly, slowly, we started this journey. And now I am in this stage. So I would like to thank uh, Srikant Ji for guiding me in this uh, journey of bioenzymes. And also to all other B members who are with us in the group. And whenever we have doubts, they were ready to clear it off. And uh, so I would like to thank all the people, the B members, Breathing Madam, everything, everybody for guiding us and helping us to proceed with the bioenzyme as it is a new technology. And we were away from the thing, like, uh, what to say, like chemicals. We are in the chemical world. We say that chemicals are not... When we clean the house, everything is gone, we think. But after cleaning the house only, so much of chemicals are entered inside the house. Like if you open the floor, uh, sorry, if we clean the floor, with chemicals we clean. And the, uh, whatever dust is gone, is gone. But remaining thing, the chemicals is still staying in our floors. When we wash our clothes with the chemicals, again, the chemicals get stayed in our clothes. So that enters inside the body through inhalation, through the lungs, through the skin. When we sit in the floor, when we put our dress, the remains of those chemicals stays in our dress itself and that becomes a toxic. That means when it goes beyond the limit, expected limits, that particular substance, though it is at permissible limits, the chemicals, when it goes beyond the limits, it becomes toxic to human beings. That toxic leads to many problems. So the only solution to this is what I learned is the bioenzyme. And this bioenzyme name itself shows that it is some biological product and it is not a liquid it is not just water when we filter it it is like a water form but it is not just water it is the enzyme it has uh, multiple like, purposes so let us see what is enzymes enzymes is nothing but it is a protein based biological catalyst and this catalyst is nothing but which fastens the reaction so whatever reaction has to be done it fastens the reaction but doesn't take part in the reaction that is what we mean by Catalyst. So, these bioenzymes are protein molecules which act as a biological catalyst and they control the rate of the chemical reactions. So, the only alternative for the chemicals, what we use in our day-to-day -day life is these enzymes. And this idea of bioenzymes was first introduced by Dr. Rosukun Kumpawang from Thailand. And she actually cultivated these enzymes as organic cleaners. She wanted to make these enzymes into organic cleaners from organic waste. So on this occasion, I would like to thank and take the blessings of our guide, uh, for Dr. Rosukun Pumavan for guiding us in this field of bioenzymes. Thank you so much. Okay. Ma'am, can you see the slides? Yes, Sujata. Thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, I in the introduction, I said like it is a cleaning. Bioenzymes are basically for cleaning purpose. So when we say about cleaning, we should know what is cleaning, what is sanitizing and what is disinfecting. Many a times we see in the group, like so many questions, whether our bioenzymes can clean, whether our bioenzymes can sanitize, whether our bioenzymes can disinfect. There's a slight difference between cleaning, sanitizing and disinfecting. When we go for cleaning, it is basically a physical cleaning, which removes the dirt, unwanted things from the house or wherever it is. And the impurities like objects, whatever is there on the surfaces, we are going to clean. And while doing this manual or physical cleaning process, many germs get moved from the environment, from the place where we are cleaning. And this uh, slide is taken from the guidelines as per the Center for Disease Control. So what they say is for cleaning, we can use soap and detergents. So we can use soap with water. In the diluted form of soap, we can use for cleaning. And we can go for scrubbing with some brush 
wash it and rinse. That is enough for cleaning the household things. And this cleaning should be done in a regular basis. This is what the Center for Disease Control says about cleaning. When we go for sanitizing, sanitizing after cleaning the object, after cleaning the surface, we can go for sanitizing. Here the sanitizing means it helps to reduce the germs. Germs means it is disease creating objects or disease creating microorganisms. Germs are otherwise called as pathogens. We have our hands uh, like rice flour is there. Rice flour for idli if we make now. We put, it, put our hand and mix nicely. The next day the fermentation is very good. So that way because the hand has plenty of microbes and all these microbes are not pathogens. All these are good bacteria which is present in our hands. Our stomach, gastrointestinal system has plenty of microbes. Those microbes only help us for the digestion process as well as for the metabolization and for the production of energy. So when we go for sanitizing, here the word sanitizing says that removing the entire germs. If entire germs is removed, okay. And before sanitizing anything, we have to go for cleaning. For cleaning, we use soap and water. And for sanitizing, we use some chemicals. Harsh chemicals, we have to go for sanitizing. And all the time when we sanitize, we go for a bleaching solution. And this bleach, when it gets oxidized, it gets converted into chlorinates. That is toxic for our lungs or the respiratory system. So the objects and surfaces should be cleaned first before we are going for sanitizing. So sanitizing when it comes, we have to see what all objects should be sanitized. Is it necessary to sanitize our house? Is it necessary to sanitize our floor? No, it is not necessary to entirely sanitize the floor because we are living in that. We are not filled with pathogens. So our floor is also not filled with pathogens. Just cleaning is enough. When it comes for sanitizing, the objects which is in contact with our mouths, that like toys, because infants, they take the toys, they keep, we put it inside the mouth for playing. So those things, food feeding supplies, our kitchen countertops, because food is there in the kitchen, there are chances for the food to spill it down. And those food may be infected with some microorganisms and we need to clean and sanitize our kitchen tops. And when it comes for disinfecting, after cleaning, and after sanitizing, most of the germs will be removed. Whatever is left over after cleaning and sanitizing, those chemical uh, pathogens can be killed with the help of the disinfecting solution. So the remaining germs will be killed while we go for a disinfecting solution. And this disinfecting solu solution is a strong bleaching agent. This strong bleaching agent is also is not good for our health. So whatever objects are cleaned, uh, what are surfaces are there that has to be cleaned first with its normal soap and water. Then it has to be sanitized with a uh, weaker bleaching agent. Then if you want to disinfect it, disinfect that particular area, we can go for a strong bleaching agent. So what surfaces needs to be disinfected means if we have a person sick in our house, that bed needs to be disinfected because microbes may be present. And that if means... there is any person with a weakened immune system, like after renal transplantation, kidney transplantation, or a patient with cancer taking some drugs, those places, those beds, that room can be disinfected. So otherwise, in our house, gentle cleaning of the house with soap and water is enough, they say. So this is a basic understanding of what is since we are handling with the bioenzyme, the cleaning solutions. I think this is necessary. We should know about the difference between cleaning, sanitizing and disinfecting as per the norms of Center for Disease Control. So here when I say about the cleaning agents, when I said about the soaps, these are the detergents we use for the cleaning agents. So a detergent is nothing but the surfactant. In the bioenzymes, we use soap net liquid as a surfactant. So here this detergent also acts as a surfactant which is a mixture of many cleaning which is a mixture which has many cleaning properties and it also used for diluting the solutions. And this detergent not only cleans, it just cleans but it doesn't sanitize. This, this we should be very clear. Any detergent when we use for our clothes, for cleaning our clothes, it only cleans the clothes, it doesn't sanitize or it doesn't disinfect. It means it removes all the germs from there. And as the detergent builds up, when we go for cleaning with the detergents, this detergent will leave some invisible layer on our material wherever we clean. If it is a floor 
or if it is our own dress materials, fabrics, whatever it is, oh. some invisible layer will be left on that. That invisible layer traps all the dirt, minerals from in the clothes and that is, that is the reason why the clothes get fed off first and accumulation of other foreign objects are there. This is about the detergent. When we go for a degreaser, wherever there is oil, wherever there is a fat content, wherever there is a protein content, we go for a degreasing agent. And these are surfactants, some powders, as is all these can be used as the degreasing agents. And we should not use degreasing agents if there is no oil in that. Suppose our clothes, if you want to wash, normally, we, since we are talking about cleaning agents, we are uh, talking about the detergents. When we go for the enzymes, for cleaning the clothes, it is not necessary uh, to clean if with uh, soap net or anything, just a plain enzyme itself will clean because oil is not there in the clothes, just our enzyme can clean. So the degreaser here is used uh, to clean the oils or the, uh, uh, mainly for the oils of fat like proteins, fats and proteins which is present in the surface areas. Next comes the abrasives. Abrasives also are used for cleaning like what we use as cleansers, uh, scrubbers, what we use for cleaning the um, vessels, all this comes under abrasives. And acids, acids also are used for removing the rust in the toilets we use to clean the acids. These are some of the cleaning agents we use in our day-to-day, -day, not we, in the sense, generally common people use in the day-to-day -day life for cleaning the substances. This is the basic idea of what we use for the clean, as a cleaning agents. Okay, now we will see what all the commercial cleaners available and what all health hazards we are getting because of this chemical. We use detergents for cleaning, we use soaps for cleaning, we are using shampoos, everything as chemical based substances for cleaning means what all problems we get for our health. These are the indoor pollutions we are getting inside the house without knowing what it is. So formaldehyde is commonly used as a, sorry formaldehyde is commonly used as a preservative. This preservative, where it is used, means it is used right from the air freshener up to the shampoos to preserve those objects to extend the shelf life of their cleaning agents. They use this formaldehyde normally in the clinical settings. We use this formaldehyde only to preserve the dead organs. After surgery, when any organ is removed. That organ is put inside the formaldehyde. In the science labs, we would have seen in our 10th standard plus 2 itself. Formaldehyde is only used for those purposes. And nowadays, this formaldehyde, which is a chemical, which is not at all good for our health, is used right from air freshness to our shampoos. And the adverse effects is, it affects our nervous system. And here in the nervous system, the main thing to remember is, our neurons will never get replicated once it is damaged. If we damage our skin, definitely the skin will get healed fast. But the nervous system, neurons, which is there in the nervous system, will never get healed after the damage. And the respiratory system, lungs gets damaged because of the inhalation of these substances. Our throat gets damaged and the chest, we also get chest pain and bronchial asthma. Asthma is a respiratory problem, which we get because of one single chemical called as formaldehyde and this is commonly used in a household cleaning agents. Next chemical is perchloroethylene. We call it as PERC. This is also used as a dry cleaning agent. Right from carpets to our silk saris, we they use this perchloroethylene as a cleaning agent. This also causes inhalation problems. Like when, once this chemical is inhaled in our body, it causes dizziness, it causes vomiting, it causes lightheadedness, coma and even death because of perchloroethylene. Anything which goes beyond the permissible limits becomes a toxic for us. And next is the phthalates. Phthalates is used as a fragrance. Anything we open, any cleaning agent we open and see, fragrance is there. We like that smell. What is added in that to get that smell is the phthalates. These phthalates are cosmetics. They are used in cosmetics as well as in the dishwasher. Any cosmetic from our lip balm to the Dishwash liquids, dishwash, dish soap, we, we have these phthalates for fragrance. Our room spray has phthalates. This will affect the reproductive system of the men. Not only men, even females are affected. And their adverse effects are neurodevelopment, including the lower IQ. Kids born, when they, when they are exposed to phthalates, they have lower IQ. Neurodevelopmental problems are there. 
attention problems are there and hyperactive the child becomes hyperactive we all may not be knowing why the child is like this it is like a slow poison we are inducing in, inside the house without knowing what it is next comes 2 butoxy ethanol this is also a chemical agent which is used in our daily cleaning routine for the pleasant smell where all it is used means it is used in the multi as a multi purpose cleaner this chemical directly damages our kidneys and liver next is the triclosan any soap we say this soap is an antibacterial soap this soap will kill all the bacteria they say what is added to kill or remove that bacteria is the triclosan this chemical is an antibacterial agent and this if it goes beyond the limits it is an endocrine disruptor endocrine disruptor meaning is whatever hormones are produced by our endocrine glands right from the thyroid gland till the reproductive organs like insulin people one fourth like four in one in india is affected by diabetes mellitus diabetes is mainly because of the insulin insufficiency that all these hormonal problems are directly related to triclosan and i will not say only triclosan is the cause this is also one of the cause for the hormonal imbalances that is taking place in our body so we have said about these chemicals like formaldehyde perchloroethylene phthalates 2-butoxy ethanol triclosan and all the adverse effects it occurs and these chemicals are commonly seen in any of the substances we use in our house for the household cleaning products other than the enzymes okay next this we are very clear about sodium lauryl sulfate sls and scles these two chemicals are used for lather formation one if i put one drop if i put in my hand so much of lather comes we are very happy we are think that all the dirt is removed from the body when the lather comes but for that they add sls and SEL, sles these two chemicals are for foaming and for the lather formation and this is commonly used as a dishwash soap and the laundry detergents and toilet bowl cleaners and these sls and sles chemicals is a very serious threat to our health problem they directly when they we contact these chemicals directly they damage our eyes they cause skin irritation burns dry skin itchy skin and sometimes flaky skin also and the most important problem of this sls and sles chemicals commonly used in our soaps is a hormone disruptor and for females we all many of the girls have this hormone problems hormonal imbalance all these this sls and sles is also one of the major factor for this problem i can say and it is highly carcinogenic carcinogenic means can cancer creating agent all these agents we are keeping in our house as chemical agents without knowing its effect okay these are the names like sodium lauryl sulfate sodium lauryl sulfate sodium salts ammonium lauryl and these are the names it is written at the back side in the ingredients when we go for these chemicals okay okay we have seen about the chemicals that is used inside the house other than that in the agriculture industry if we go they have lots of pesticides uh, and uh, so many things they are using for right from the seeds up to the cultivation of the crops so many chemicals are used as a fertilizers as well as for the pesticides and this also pollutes the air land and water and once the water bodies are polluted the air is polluted see water body is polluted and this water we put our go in our house that only comes filtered and uh, so many chemicals again we had in this water and we drink that water we say that it is rho filtered water but the chemicals are still there in the water only so what is the solution for all these chemicals means uh, in a nutshell if we say chemical cleaners it is toxic if it goes beyond the limits it is toxic and it damages the environment it pollutes the water bodies and it also affects the flora and fauna vegetation as well as the animal life it affects and it also destroys our ecosystem when the ecosystem is damaged naturally our health also is affected human is also part of the ecosystem so it destroys the ecosystem landfills are there and this also directly and indirectly contributes to global warming so what is the solution for these chemical cleaners is we have to go for some natural cleaners which can improve the quality of air which can improve the quality of the water and the soil
okay the one solution there is one solution what we all know is a bioenzyme which is a natural wonder cleaner which has multiple uses and this solution helps us to clean all the things what all chemicals we have seen in the previous slide all those points can be rectified here like all the cleaning things can happen with one wonder solution that is called as the bioenzyme and it is a natural cleaner so after the discovery of this bioenzymes, after learning what is bioenzyme, we should never go back to the chemicals and we can change our life by switching on to a new solution called as this bioenzymes. So these bioenzymes are non-toxic. It protects the environment, cleans the water bodies, enriches our flora and fauna, our ecosystem can be built and we can go for a sustainable living. We need not buy the uh, bioenzymes we can prepare the bioenzymes at our house itself and these can be recycled also and this idea as i said in the first slide we all know about dr rusakar she is from thailand and she cultivated these enzymes from the organic waste and that is being used as bioenzymes now and so a little few words about dr rusakar she is a scientist she is practicing medical alternative medicine including acupuncture, herbal medicine, and self-help medicine. And she is the founder of Organic Agriculture Association Thailand. And for the past 30 years, she is using this bioenzyme as a uh, fermentation process of this organic waste for fertilizers as, and pesticides. Okay. Now we are going to see about the bioenzymes. Other name for this bioenzymes is, it is a natural cleaning vinegar. It is also called as garbage enzyme. Since it is taken from the waste, we call it as a garbage enzyme. Since it protects in nature, we call it as the echo enzyme. And it is also called as effective echo produce because ecology only produces it. And otherwise called as terra enzyme also, terrazyme. Okay. What is the meaning of bioenzyme? Bioenzyme, as we said, it is a natural cleaning enzyme or natural cleaning vinegar. This is produced by the fermentation of the fruits, vegetables flowers and leaves and these fruits flowers and vegetables and fruits and flowers we can just use the peels for fermentation and flowers and leaves we can use directly also a small thing about fermentation <coughs> fermentation again here in the production of bioenzyme two types of fermentation takes place one is the aerobic fermentation in the presence of oxygen or air and the other one is the anaerobic fermentation. Anaerobic fermentation means in the absence of air, the fermentation is taking place. So these two types of fermentation is taking place in the preparation of the bioenzymes. So, so the production of bioenzymes is by means of fermentation. As I said already, the bacteria is present, yeast is present, and these are helps in this mixes with the starch and the sugars and produce go for the fermentation process and the microorganism which is present in the peels they feed the sugars whatever we put there breaks down into simpler compounds and the byproduct of this fermented liquid is the enzymes what is generated and this enzyme is essentially the enzymes that is produced by the bacteria which is produced to digest the complex substances like whatever complex substances is there in our house that gets waste that gets germs gets digested with the help of this bioenzyme cleaners. Okay, next we will say about the four important or primary functions of this natural cleaning vinegars. One is they help to resolve or decompose the waste. Second is it helps to transform, change, it compose or make up to combine. It works as a catalyst, speeding up the process, but it doesn't take part in the process. These bioenzymes speeding up the process and this bioenzymes have multiple uses what is the home care it can be used as a home care throw away all the chemicals take away take these bioenzymes and this can be used for home care personal care plant care pet care earth care and auto care so when we when the bioenzymes is used in these areas, why should we go for a chemical cleanup? Throw away all the chemicals in your house. Come back to the bioenzymes. Your house will be nourished with bioenzymes. That holiness we can see in the house. Okay, coming back to the home care. 
First comes the floor cleaner. How we can use this bioenzyme as a floor cleaner? Just 10 ml or 15 ml, we can take in 5 liters of uh, water. Take a bucket with 5 liters of water. Add 10 to 15 ml of this floor cleaner. We can wipe the floor. After wiping the floor, the same water can be used for cleaning the tiles in the bathrooms as a bathroom floor cleaner. And then remaining liquid can be used to clean the sink, your wash basin, etc. And after doing all these things, if we have some more liquid, uh, this fluid, that can be used to, uh, used to plant as an energy booster, fertilizer for the plants. The another benefit of using this bioenzyme as a floor cleaner is it removes all the mosquitoes. It will not kill the mosquitoes, but all the mosquitoes in our house will run away. Next is the bathroom cleaner. As I said, after cleaning the floor, the same water can be used as a bathroom cleaner or if more of scales are present in the bathroom, we can go for a thick pulp. Next comes the toilet cleaner. Either the bioenzymes or the thick pulp, what we prepare, can be used as a toilet cleaner. This it can also be used to remove the stains. If more stains are there, apply the enzyme directly on the stain, leave it for half an hour to one hour, just use some scrubber to remove the Strain, the strain will go off. If it doesn't go immediately over a period of time, definitely the strain will go off. The same liquid can be used as a kitchen and sink cleaner also. As I said in the beginner sessions, beginner slides, kitchen and sink is a place where the microbes grow because food is there. And sometimes the food may spill on the kitchen. There are chances for the microbes to grow. Here, this my bioenzyme not only acts as a detergent, it also removes all the germs, small germs. It also acts as a sanitizer to remove the germs from the kitchen. And for the fabric wash, either it is a direct wash or for the machine wash, we can use bioenzyme. Any citric bioenzyme can be used like uh, 10 ml or 20 ml of bioenzyme. We can soak it in water and then the clothes can be immersed in water for half an hour to 40 minutes and then we can wash our clothes. And these in the uh, for, for fabric softener, we can use um, rose bioenzyme. This rose bioenzyme will clean the fabric and it also has excess softener, fabric softener, and a pleasant smell also comes when we use this uh, enzyme. Next comes the glass cleaner. Whatever glass is there inside the house or the uh, car, inside the, in the car also glass is a windshield. All those can be cleaned with the help of the uh, bioenzyme, a citric enzyme or any bioenzyme, just add few drops of bioenzyme in 1 liter of water, 5 ml of bioenzyme in 1 liter of water, cleans the glass beautifully. And for room freshener, we can use some soap net liquid also and then some bioenzymes and mix it with water and it, that can be used as a room freshener. Even the same liquid can be used as a toilet freshener also and this also is used as a mosquito repellent. And the important thing here is the fruit and vegetable wash. Direct citrus enzyme or neem enzyme, we can mix 10 ml or 5 ml, 5 to 10 ml of uh, enzyme mixed in the water, bowl of water. And then after 10 minutes or 15 minutes, just soak the fruits and vegetables without cutting. And then that removes all the chemicals that is seen on the topmost layer of the fruits. And as a clog remover, any clog is present, this thick pulp of the enzyme, if you put it inside and add some hot water, that helps to remove the clogs also. When it comes to personal care, right from hair wash and to till the face, sorry, face pack, we can use this uh, uh, bioenzyme for personal care. Shikakai and soap red enzymes, when it mixed with little citrus, that can be used for a hair wash and it can be used for body wash also. And for hand wash, because all this needs lather. We are used to lather formation. So along with the little bioenzyme, we can even add some soap net liquid for our satisfaction for lather formation. And it can be used for hair wash, body wash, as well as for the hand wash. And the rose enzyme can be diluted. And in dilutions, that can be used as a skin toner, as well as a skin moisturizer. And the same enzyme can be used for scrubber and face pack. But one enzyme, instead of take, using that, we can use, based upon the ingredient, different ingredients has its own values. Same way, if we can formulate, with the help of the bioenzymes, we can formulate this hair wash, body wash, and hand wash, all other personal care items, by instead of using the chemicals there. 
Next comes the plant and pet care. Plant and pet care. Here in the plant care, it can be used for fertilizer as a pest controller, soil loosener, insect and mosquito repellent, and for the growth as a growth booster in the roots. When it comes for pet care, we can wash the pets with bioenzymes. We can make formulate this uh, pet shampoos and conditioners. And if there is any pet stains or orders in the pet shed, we can use this bioenzyme as a pet stain and order eliminator also. When it comes to earth and auto care, earth, mother earth. So earlier, long back, like 100, 120, 200 years back and all, people go for open field defecation. When it comes to open field defecation, whatever is a human waste defecated, it is in the open lands, barren lands. The sunlight takes care of that. Water rinses out and our house and nearby areas, we don't have the toxins. But now we all have septic tanks in our house. Every house, whether it is small or big, it is a small house or a big apartment. Everything has a septic tank. All the human waste is being collected in this septic tank. And without doing anything, the same waste along with the pathogens is getting mixed with the water bodies. Instead of that, if we go for a bioenzyme for cleaning our household, no need to go for a separate septic tank cleanser. Whatever enzymes we use in our household activities, that enzyme, like we go for a toilet cleaner with the help of bioenzymes, that cleaner will enter inside your septic tank and it will all slowly and slowly, it will uh, engulf all the bacteria or the pathogens in the septic tank and whatever water is coming out becomes a clean water and that water can be recycled and next comes and because of that recycling that water only enters inside our fresh water bodies and that water again cleans the fresh waters next comes the auto care auto care here it helps to remove the rust see i had a uh, cycle my kid cycle was a full was full of rust and we were not able to use it i just took some uh, Citrus bioenzymes clean that cycle rim with their with the help of that uh, citrus bioenzyme, and all the rust water was present was gone. It can also be used as a car freshener, like room freshener. We can go for a natural car freshener with the help of citrus or some uh, freshening freshening car, uh, fresheners, natural fresheners. Next comes the auto care. In auto care, right from car to trucks, we can clean. The paint will not go off. You can clean the cars or the trucks or the autos, anything with the help of this bioenzymes. It kills all the odors, removes the bugs, tar, and it is also used as a windshield cleaner in the auto care industry. And this, everybody will be knowing about the preparation of bioenzymes. When it comes for preparation, we should go for a wide mouth plastic bottles or the plastic containers. Why wide mouth means? The fermentation is going to take place. During the fermentation, gas will be released. If you go for a narrow mouth container, whatever gas is there, there is no space for the gas to be collected and there is a chance for bursting of the container and all the content will be spilled out. So we go for a wide mouth bottle or a container and it should be, when we put all the contents, it should be airtight. That's why we can see this sealing agent here. Okay. Then comes the jaggery water. Water should be used and jaggery and the fruit peels. Any fruits, any vegetables, flowers and leaves can be used for preparing this bioenzymes. Particularly this kitchen waste, instead of just throwing it off, we can make it as an enzyme cleaner. Pardon? Okay, making of bioenzymes. We share how to make this bioenzymes. First and foremost thing is we have to collect all the ingredients. Whatever peels we have, whatever leaves we have, we can collect all that. We have to select the container. Most probably a wide mouth container can be selected. And we can mix all the ingredients, go for a sealing and ferment it and regular agitation. Means we have to open it and close we have to mix it nicely so that all the materials what we have put mixes with the sugar solution nicely. And then straining and storage. And when we go for application pot, we have to dilute and apply. Regarding the safety precautions, we have to keep it away from children. We have to keep it away from sunlight. And 
so on. Then comes the mixing of ingredients. How to mix this ingredients? 15 is to 10 is to 3 is to 1. This is the mantra we use for preparing the bioenzymes. 15 is the volume of the container and it should be a wide mouth container. And 10 is the volume of the water. And 10, 3 is the volume of your citrus peels. And 1 is the jaggery. 1 part of jaggery, 3 parts of citrus peels or any peels. 10 parts of water and 15 is the 15 parts. That means remaining parts should be kept open for the gas to be accumulated for the first one month, for first ten, uh, 30 days. Okay. Next comes the measure. Suppose if we are preparing, how we have to prepare? If 1 liter is a plastic bottle, we can add 60 grams of jaggery, 180 grams of citrus pills and 600 ml of water for preparing this bioenzyme. Okay. This is already completed. Next comes the types of kitchen waste that should be avoided while preparing. This is very important. Like all the kitchen waste cannot be used for preparing the bioenzymes. So avoid nuts and avoid seeds. Nuts and seeds have oil content. If we use, fermentation will not take place. So we can avoid nuts and seeds for preparing the bioenzymes. Onion and onion peels should be avoided. Garlic and garlic peels, radish peels, cabbage, cauliflower, pomegranate peels, all these peels should be avoided because while during the fermentation process, the fragrance is not good. So if the chemicals released from those peels, it gives a pungent smell. So by with, with that smell, people will not come inside. Our own family members will not like to use these bioenzymes. So we can avoid all these things like right from onion peels to pomegranate and comes to raw banana peels and Banana stem, banana leaf, banana flower, brinjal, beetroot peels, all these are coloring agents. Whatever color is there that comes on the floor when we use it. So all these also can be avoided while preparing the bioenzyme for cleaning purpose. When we want to use the bioenzyme for agriculture purpose, we can use, but nuts and seeds can be avoided. The process of making bioenzyme, as we all know, it is a 90 days process. First 30 days is going to be aerobic fermentation. Daily we have to open, release the gas and mix it nicely so that the jaggery, water and the pills gets mixed evenly. And then next 60 days, means from 30 days to 60 days, we have to close the container airtight. See, we should ensure that it is airtight and then we can just leave it. After 90 days, we will get the enzyme. During the process of first 30 days, uh, ozone is uh, uh, coming out, nitrates are coming out, because CO3 is generated and this helps to whiten the clouds. The clouds when we go and see up now, so much of uh, traps are there. Clouds are trapped with metals. So that's why it appears dark. So this can be removed or the, when we go for the preparation of the bioenzyme. The gases that is released during the bioenzyme helps to prevent the global warming or the ozone which is released during the formation of the bioenzyme helps to reduce global warming and the nitrates which is released during the fermentation process is a nutrient for the soil as well as the plants. So after 90 days a white layer will be seen on the surface and the peels will settle down. It means that the bioenzymes are ready to use. During that time, we can just strain the bioenzyme. We can separate the clear liquid and the peels. Peels can be blended in a blender. And uh, during the blending, we can add some little more bioenzyme to blend it, to make it as a thick pulp. And the clear liquid can be used as a clear vinegar or the clear enzyme. And thick pulp can be used as a pulpy enzyme or the pulpy vinegar. So we have to use airtight bottles to clear the, sorry, to store this clear liquids and the thick pulp. And if we want to make it fast, instead of 90 days, I can't wait for 90 days, I want to make it fast means we can add some starters. Already prepared by enzymes if it is there or a thick pulp is there, we can use it as a starter. Instead of waiting it for uh, 90 days, we can open the lid and close it for 15 days and remain that you just close it and within 40 days, 45 days, our bioenzyme will be ready.
Okay, next important thing is we'll see how this bioenzyme works. What is the science behind this bioenzyme? Okay, here it is like partnership between the bacteria and the enzymes. The bioenzyme liquid is there in our bottle. So what is there? We have bacteria, we have enzymes in that. They work in partnership to break down the soils. Whatever stains are there, whatever malladders are there, they help them to break down into smaller particles and solubilize. It reduces the particles. And these fragments are done with the help of the bacteria which is present in it. And this natural bacteria feed on the broken particles. Enzymes break it into smaller particles and the bacteria which is present in the enzyme will engulf all those bacteria and they go. And this is a continuous process and that's why it is used as a cleaning enzyme. And this has no harmful effects and it is safe for the environment and it gives a clean environment also. In the picture we can see, see this is the enzyme and this is the active site of the enzyme. Whatever substance is there, it goes, fixes in the enzyme and then it forms the complex like enzyme substrate complex. This complex becomes the product. Once the product is formed, it sends the product out. This is how the enzyme works. And once the product is out, the enzyme is again ready for the new substrate to make it into products. Regarding the efficacy, this cleans and disinfectants. Disinfects the household things. It removes all the lime scale that is present. It also breaks down the grease, stains and various other impurities which is present. And it also removes the pesticides and other chemical substances from the fruits and vegetables. That's why we use bioenzyme for fruit and vegetable cleansing. And this also eliminates the harmful microorganisms and destroys the molds. And this helps to clean and freshen the clothes and footwear, helps to purify the air, eliminate the odors and bad odors. It acts as a natural pesticide as well as a herbicide. It will not kill, but it will send the viscous out. And it also enriches the soil and it contributes to the health and growth of the plants. So growth is fantastic when you go for the enzymes. Many of you will be knowing this. And it also nourishes the skin and hair of the pets. Helps to fight against cockroaches, ants, flies and mosquitoes. This also helps to eliminate the electromagnetic radiation. Right from beginning of the day till the end of the day, our internet switch is on. And everywhere we use mobile phones, this radiation is there inside the house. More than the outside pollution, inside pollution is there. This uh, bioenzyme, if we spray as a room spray in our house, it helps to remove all the electromagnetic radiations which is present in the house also. And it also purifies our environment and protects the groundwater also. Okay, while preparing this bioenzymes, if a white mold or white layer is formed on the surface, it means that the bioenzyme is good to use. Instead of a white mold, if you see a black mold on the surface of the content, it means that the enzyme is affected by bad bacteria and it is not suitable for usage, but it is not necessary to discard the contents. Again, re-add the same amount of jaggery. While preparing the bioenzymes, how much jaggery we had it, same amount of jaggery if we add again and just close it for 30 days, one month and keep stirring for a few days, just five days if you stir and then close it for one month, the black mold will disappear and the enzyme is ready to use. And if any maggots, small, small insects are present in the bioenzyme, it means that it is contaminated and we cannot use. So again, we need not throw, add some jaggery the same amount of jaggery what we added in the during the preparation same amount of jaggery we add and just close it for 15 days all the maggots will disappear i have seen this while preparing in my house also and if a pale green mold is present that is very dangerous it means that it has gone bad so we have to dispose that we cannot use reuse again so we have to discard it either in the drain or make a a hole in the soil and just discard it with the soil itself. And we can clean the container and go for a fresh batch. Regarding the dilutions, as I already said, for floor mopping, we can go for a citrus 
नेम और क्लियर बायो एंजाइम लाइक हंड्रेड एम एल इन फाइव लीटर्स ऑफ वाटर वी कैन डायल्यूट एंड वी कैन यूज फॉर फ्लोर मोपिंग फॉर बाथरूम क्लीनिंग वन इज टू टेन रेशियो वी कैन यूज एंड टाइल क्लीनिंग वन इज टू वर्ड बिकॉज हार्ड स्केल्स विल बी प्रेजेंट लाइम स्केल्स में भी प्रेजेंट वी कैन यूज अ क्लियर एंजाइम और मोर ऑफ डी स्केलिंग इज देयर वी कैन डायरेक्टली यूज थिक पल्प and for toilet cleaning again we can go for a thick pulp apply directly for 30 minutes it will remove and for the flush tank if we clean the toilets with a thick pulp over a period of time it goes off or 200 ml overnight soaked in the flush tank it will go off and for cleaning the mirrors one is to one ratio one one liter by enzyme uh, one is to one ratio we can use for cleaning the mirrors whereas for laundry Hundred to two hundred ml we can use in a half a bucket of water, and then we can use here. Rose enzymes also can be used for a fabric softener, and for kitchen sinks also we can use the bio enzymes. When it comes for fertilizer, this is a very a very valuable organic fertilizer. It removes all the pesticides, and the soil is enriched with bio enzymes for the fertilizer. and whatever fruits and vegetables we eat that becomes uh, uh, it's a very quality fruit we can get it from the uh, fertilizer as a natural fertilizer and here we can use 30 ml of solution in 2 liters of water just spray on the soil and that helps as a fertilizer for us and we should never go for a concentrated solution it will burn the plant and the soil gets acidified when we go for a concentrated solution always use bio enzyme in diluted solution as a diluted solution and it is a though it is a cleaning agent it also contains some phosphates nitrates ammonia chlorine all the chemical agents and these chemical agents are harmful to us and it pollutes the air soil ground water the use of natural solution solutions like our bio enzymes is a preservative of the environment and it also protects the entire planet and it is claimed that 1 liter of the solution based enzyme like whatever solutions we are using bio enzymes based solutions whatever we use in our house that solution can purify 1000 liters of contaminated river water when it reaches the river it can purify 1000 liters of contaminated river water so this solution is very good for house laundry and other uses and if it goes to pond or river it saves the planet also cleans all the water bodies there and our planet also is safe and it we also can go for a good water when we drink to conclude this bio enzymes are the natural solutions and it is made by means of fermentation both aerobic and anaerobic fermentation process is used and whatever we throw as a waste kitchen waste that can be used as a cleaning agents and right from hair wash to car wash we can use this bio enzyme it protects the entire globe makes us free from harmful chemicals and also we can prevent global warming by using our bio enzymes so i let us all join our hands in preparing the enzymes and as trainers we can motivate others to prepare the bio enzyme and make the best use of this bio enzymes and save the earth थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू बहुत बढ़िया सेशन था और काफी कुछ नया सीखने को मिला प्रीति जी अब आप थोड़ी देर के लिए आप देखो जो भी नए मेंबर्स हैं गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन सुजाता यू कैन स्टॉप द स्क्रीन yes ma'am you can see everybody's face now and there are some queries uh, so we'll answer that first okay uh yeah so she is talking uh, what are the uh, alternate to sles alternative for sles okay uh -huh. for sles sles we say it is for a sub forming agent leather is formed when we go for the sles instead of that we can go for the soap net mixed with soap net like enzyme is there by enzyme is prepared for either for 90 days or 45 days that citrus enzyme 2 is to 2 is to 1 ratio we can mix 2 liters of enzyme 2 liters of water and 1 kg of the soap net and soak it for 15 to 20 days 
filtering it, we can get the soap net liquid. That soap net liquid can be used as a uh, foaming agent and it also helps to remove the green, uh, dirt from the surfaces. And instead of SLS, we can go this as an alternative. Any other questions anyone has got? Koi question hai aapka Sujata se pushne ke liye. Sujata aaj hai humare saath. Samira, we do have uh, uh, the question what you have put. Uh, ozone nitrate is ka. Um, India mein abhi tak nahi hua hai paper. But we have it in Thai. Mm. Um, uh, by that, whatever question you're asking, see, uh, it is a very detailed subject. Enzymology is a very huge subject. And uh, if we want to understand scientifically, it will take some time. And uh, But a lot of research paper, what has been published for enzyme, it is there on our website. You can go through that. And... Uh, Recording will be there on our YouTube channel. So you can see that. And any, all the new members, can I, uh, uh, can I see you all? So welcome, welcome to a BA family. And this uh, is a journey, hai. Ye sirf ek saal ki baat hai. it is not just a matter of a year or so. It's a journey and uh, we all have joined the journey of uh, Dr. Rosha Khan, which is going on since last 38, 40 years. So uh, we have joined this journey and we are exploring a lot of things uh, in this journey. Now, uh, I would like to understand, first of all, I uh, I hope all of you have got your invoices as you have paid your membership. And uh, a profile ka link tha, which will help us to understand what is the requirement each one of you have joined to understand your requirement and uh, help you out in that way. You know, where can we help you out? How we can help you out? And uh, if there is, a, if we don't have a solution, we can, we have to join together and come out with a solution to figure out what is that. Now, uh, this is, again, as I said, this is a volunteer-based uh, platform and a uh, lot of things happens and we are all dependent on volunteers and uh, that takes our work a little slow but it happens it is not that it doesn't happen it doesn't mean we are ignoring it's just that we are also trying to meet an end to uh, make it happen as soon as possible and the uh, now we have earlier we had one common group for members now we have divided at a, as a zonal uh, so you know what happens in zone if we have some project we would like to involve our members and it is it makes sense for us to discuss in that particular zone if something is coming up in that area we can discuss with members because in the common group everything was getting lost we were not very jinko jo message chahiye wo unko nahi mil raha tha so we thought that in one area where there are the projects and if our members want to get benefit out of uh, that project and want to get involved in the project, they can uh, we can discuss there and we can uh, uh, work together in that way. So uh, that was the reason we uh, made a zonal uh, team 
and now zonal team uh, will be headed by uh, one of you who will be uh, who will be active there and who can take the things further who can uh, uh, take it uh, to the next level of figuring out a uh, project hai ya hame kuch karna hai aur uh, brainstorming karna hai ki ye problem hai mere society mein or this area we have this issue and we want to solve it we can definitely do a brainstorming and come out with a proper solution so all these thing uh, can happen in a different zone now um, anything else would you like to know from our side the next meeting will be again after a month so any and no questions at all koi aapko kuch bhi doubt hai anybody any doubt Yeah. Yes, you can talk now, Mahalakshmi. You can talk. You can ask and feel. It is a, uh, it is your platform. Namaste, ma'am. I'm Rachna. Ha, Rachna ji, bolye. I'm just asking a question. Ji. Ma'am, ma'am. Ji, Rachna ji. Um, one question is there. Yes. Hello. Like. <coughs> yes, Rashtra ji. Ab ab ba ba baat kijiye. Na mute and mute pora toh na raksha. Ah, ji. My question. Ah, ji. My question. We lost her. She will join. Hello. Yes, Ma Lakshmi, you can talk. Um, now we are doing bio in some funny talk. So, Jatamam. Ah, so long. So long, so long. Um, ah, so long. So long, so long. Or eight months of funny talk. YouTube, but then start. But no. Um. Um. We are all that we use. But we are washing machine. And the all me. I tell you. Okay. जूम <laughs> लेदर <laughs> 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 like that for market fit what i should do she is asking where i should learn the okay. process she is asking okay uh mahalakshmi see there are lot of things before you formulate your products first you have to understand the enzyme properly uh what we yes, make at home is different <laughs> from the market the commercial ready products yes ha huh, commercial product so if you uh, see there are lot of ways of doing and promoting bio enzyme in the society in the market okay so okay. all this thing no we have a program on every friday where we pick up one one topic and we discuss uh every friday the commercial part or product designing or branding or all that program we do it on every friday so you can attend those program to understand so much of homework you will have to do before you launch yeah, your I'm, own I'm, 
yeah okay i am ready to learn everything so uh, yeah so, so uh, uh, it is not just the learning what i'm trying what we are trying to say is there are a time. lot of people making ha huh? okay. lot of people making so uh, you can always associate see now it is the network what we have in this right ba so hmm. you can network here and if somebody's product is good you can always uh, buy from them and sell it uh, there till you make your own product market ready because market you have to come up with your company you have to come up with your brand you have to register your company you have to uh, you know uh, so much of uh, uh, compliances with the government you have to finish all of that and then launch the product so uh, there are multiple ways of doing the business so uh, and then uh, after making the product your product has to be tested Uh, by NBA lab, and you should have all the uh, certificate before you launch your product. But if you really want to do the business, you can always uh, uh, network among the people, and you can start doing it that way. There's one way, and if you really want to do your business, whether uh, it will take time, it will Next. take a lot of work. So I would suggest you join that class to understand the kind of uh, um, effort is required before you go to the market. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Hello. And this is a journey, and you will learn. You will learn. It is nothing uh, 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 wrong Hello. in what you are doing. Yes. Who is this? Hello. I heard somebody. Uh, yes. Emily. So she if she contact me. I can give some. Uh, any day, any day number. Wrong. Okay. Like pass. One. No. No. Just. Hello. Yeah. So now there is a zonal group. No, you can discuss all that in the zonal group, and you can uh, close that. Yeah. Now, right. Chennai. Like, 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 I can guide her. So you know, when I contact Pana, then I can tell some ideas. Uh, upgrade yeah. to upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Mahalish, you need to. Ah, cake. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. You, you, where are you? Yeah. Red Hills, le. Red Hills. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, yeah. same. So you can na? discuss all this thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, yeah. Anyone? Yeah. 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 ஒரு <laughs> message all of you need to read and see all the link of these regular program or the um, link for joining the meeting it's all mentioned there very clearly please go through that message it is pinned on top because we want everybody to read and it is difficult for us to keep sharing the same messages again and again so aap wo koi bhi message hai na group hai uske upar mein pin kiya hua message hai आप वो मैसेज को पढ़िए उसमें सारे जो अभी दो सेशंस हो रहे हैं हमारे उसके लिंक डाले हुए हैं उसमें आपके प्रोफाइल का डिटेल भी हमने बोला है अपडेट करने के लिए तो जो जो फॉर्म है हमें आपके तरफ से क्या क्या अपडेट चाहिए ऑल दैट इज देयर एवरीथिंग इज देयर इन दैट मैसेज सो प्लीज गो थ्रू द मैसेज यू विल गेट एवरी Hello. Anything? Yes. Yes, Vaidya. Ah, uh, ma'am, uh, this is Khayali Vaidya. Actually, I wanted ah. to ask that. Ah, uh, is there any ah uh, any evidence or any any literature available? Ah, uh, mm -hmm. that can explain the chemical nature of a bioenzymes, like what kind of a functional groups are present in ah uh, that substance. See, that's what or... Vaidya. It's a huge mm -hmm. topic. 
my uh, enzyme enzymology it itself is a big subject so a lot of papers are published and a lot of things are available with one one topic like agar hum antibacteria ki baat karte hain to there is a uh, paper published on antibacterial efficacy of enzyme so all this thing you know how enzyme is working on landfill or leachate you know all this thing you will get it on our website we have resource section there in the resource section which is uh, accessible only by our members you will get all the papers in there thirumo call pandraru photo enak thana pandraru enak dhan pes therla alla adha cut panna idu cut aagidhu any other questions any other um, um one question is there ma'am like give us the list and contact number of people who are doing bioenzymes all everybody is doing a business here and you will find uh, whether they are teaching or they are uh, in the commercial product so uh, you can definitely have i mean till we come up with a dynamic website to have all these detail right now it is only whatsapp group which is access to which has an access to everybody and uh, uh, for doing the projects uh, to discuss it in a zone wise we have uh, created these groups uh, smaller group to discuss and uh, uh, come out with the solution of any project if something is coming up in that uh, region in that zone so one person has asked like how to join friday sessions friday i told you there's a there's a message which is pinned on every uh, zonal whatsapp group on top if you open that message you will find the link to all the sessions and one person as sahrendra ji like not allowed to join for regional whatsapp group uh, sorry not just just i joined abhi join kar liya maine ma'am sorry oh ha kar liya aapne na ha thank you thank you thank you so much and one more question like ma'am can can we get our bioenzymes tested and certified if so what is the procedure to send the bioenzyme this is for a personal satisfaction you can do the testing but if you are not launching the product i would suggest not to go and waste your money in testing uh, uh, right now we are doing uh, testing for the products that is efficacy test whether it is it is the basic test for products to be in the market by nabl now uh, but i would still suggest try it out just do it first and see what you want to do one air question lock is... wall for the large ha huh, so uh, why do you need this air lock wall see you know what harish uh, there are lot of people who are fixing the um, uh, pressure cooker whistle on top so whenever there is a pressure forming it is uh, releasing it so there are people who are uh, but uh, that is not very uh, it is not solving the uh, it is just it is not solving the whatever i mean i can understand what you are asking you have to open the cap of all the drums but that is the best way to do it because then you have a control you have a control uh, for first 10 days where you need that intervention after that you don't need that intervention you can just tie it properly and leave it a uh, lot of people who have done and i uh, there are many who are who don't find it very useful the next question here is need a small idea madam ha huh. small idea madam yes huh. uh, so recently i downloaded um, chat gpt uh, app so huh. in that you can ask all type of question so that the learners can uh, easily get that uh, result as soon because it's it's very difficult to contact a person so basic question what are the any basic question any question you can ask then it gives some um, better uh, answer so that 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 tool we can use it how, how do you feel madam chat gpt yeah so uh, balaji you said you have not received the link have you received 
द इनवॉइस बालाजी वेर आर यू If you have received the invoice, you will find it uh, at the bottom. The footnote it has all the links to join. We send it along with invoice so that there is no confusion later. And I, as I said, we are all volunteer based, so you know we just want to uh, do as soon as uh, whatever message we can send it in one shot. So it has it usually goes with the invoice. So citrus enzyme again. There's nobody who has done the antiviral test for it till today. So uh, though it is working against virus because the mechanism, the way bioenzyme works, is different than the way allopathy uh, antiviral works. So, but we don't have any uh, test or any uh, research done over it till now. Any any other questions? Anything else? Uh, Ma'am, ch channel name there was. Channel is all. If you write this Bioenzyme Entrepreneur Academy uh, on YouTube, you will get the channel, and all the videos are uploaded. Each video is one and a half two hours. Uh, we have done many sessions, uh, which uh, all the sessions are uploaded there. The cost of efficacy test again, uh, it is not for enzyme, it is for the product. So once your product is ready and you fill up the form, we will uh, let you know what is it is based on what what do you what are the tests you want to do it, and uh, all these uh, uh, form all these forms for the testing or whatever you are asking, it is all there on the website. Or go to the resource center. You will find all the forms there. If anyone wants to do internship with us, there's a form for that. If any women wants to join our wiki group, the form is there. Once you fill the form, you will get a letter from wiki uh, uh, bioenzyme council to join the council. सब कुछ है वेबसाइट पे आप थोड़ा उसपे जाके एक बार देखिए रिसोर्स सेंटर में सारा डाला हुआ है. Everything you will get it. And uh, if anyone wants to uh, write, see, we we been we are involved in a lot of research, which uh, we have released some papers also. Every all the papers again, whatever research, whatever paper has been released in the name of BA, it is all there on the website. You will find it. You can go through it, and uh, uh, anyone uh, who wants to write some paper, you can also write. So uh, before we say anything else, we would definitely like to understand what is that you are looking from us, so that we can help you out in that specific direction. and uh, move forward so uh, there is a suggestion form there is lot of forms which we have created any um, uh, query for stp or the water restoration or for the training sessions from ba uh, all the forms are there in that pinned message on the whatsapp group you can just fill it up and we will get back to you right any other questions anything else so uh, anyone uh, i mean who else is there from delhi here now uh, i know swati is here anyone else who is there who else is here rachna aap bhi aap to wahan se ho na panipat sonipat 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 haryana ha delhi ka aur koi nahi hai yahan pe okay delhi we are starting this uh, project called uh, project uh, project delhi it is on yamuna sangrakshan uh, we are going to start cleaning up the lake side uh, river side and uh, once uh, this is going to be happening every sunday 
we start from one side of the river and we go uh, to the length of the river. We'll clean up the river. We'll do the plantation next to the river. There will be a wetland development uh, near the river and there will also be a bioremediation of the river. So anybody wants to uh, be a part of this, we will be sharing the uh, form, uh, volunteering form uh, in the respective zonal group. You can fill it up and you will get the update how to join, what to join and what to do. Right. So Swati, shall we have this uh, pledge once we just read out the pledge and uh, then we'll close the session. Okay. तो ये सब साथ में बोलेंगे हम हाँ we will try we will say together I pledge to embrace I pledge, I pledge to, embrace. to embrace and promote and the use promote of the use of bioenzymes bioenzymes to to protect our soil air and water to protect our soil air and water, air and water. Huh? I commit to making and I commit to making and, and using bioenzyme and using bioenzyme bio for organic waste management for organic waste organic waste management reducing chemical pollutants reducing chemical, chemical pollutants and fostering sustainable ecosystems and fostering sustainable, sustainable ecosystems together we will safeguard our environment together, together we will safeguard, we will safeguard our environment and create a cleaner, healthier world for all. And create a cleaner, cleaner healthier world for all. World for all. Hmm. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Sujata, it was very nice. Thank you, ma'am. You spoke Thanks, very ma well. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks. This was also my first presentation here. In the group, mm. like I have done outside, but here in BA group, this is the first presentation. Yeah, no, it was good, it was very nice and very informative. Thank you so much. Mm. But we need to improve a lot of other places, uh, not yes. just the talking, we need mm. to be um, uh, technically sound. Uh, yes. We can, uh, you know, all those things, uh, just a small thing. Uh, uh, we need to prepare well. You need to coordinate. You and Swati would have coordinated better before starting the program. Uh, yes, so that, you know, all this, uh, yeah, we can avoid all these uh,